Welcome to this program. Wait a second. You can't jump the funk with that kind of music. Give me a beat. Now that's more like it. Hi, this is Mike Patillo. I want to thank you for listening to the Jump the Funk CD. It is an interesting title, but with a powerful, powerful message for your long-term success in network marketing. If you were given this CD by someone, then more than likely, they truly care about what happens in your network marketing business. Maybe right now your business has taken a downturn, or maybe you've hit a funk within your network marketing business. I am truly excited about the information that I'm getting ready to share with you on the CD. Now, first of all, I've got to tell you right up front. I want you to understand that hitting a funk in your business, especially within your first 90, 120, 180, or 200 days, is absolutely predictable. I've seen it happen many, many, many times over the past eight years in my experience in network marketing. Everyone has what we call a beginning spurt. You know, it's that that concept, and eventually that that beginning spurt with all-out massive ignorance-on-fire enthusiasm, it starts to diminish a little bit. You know, some people, they, they get results on your product. Other people don't get results. Or maybe your, uh, your Aunt Charlotte that you wanted to get started in the business that was going to make you a millionaire, if she would just join your company, maybe she decided not to join. For whatever reason, your raw enthusiasm of, I'm going to be a millionaire in two weeks, it starts to diminish a little bit. Truly, I promise you, it's very predictable in your network marketing business. I've seen it happen thousands of times over the last eight years. And I can tell you one thing. Personally, I'm always glad when someone gets into their first big funk. You may be asking why, but I kind of sit back and I kind of wait until someone hits that first big funk. To be quite frank, you know, your sponsor is probably glad you're here right now. They're probably glad you finally hit your funk. I've always found that after someone hits that funk in their business... Then and only then do we really find out who you really are, what you have, what you bring to the table. Because up to this point, you can act right, walk right, talk right, say the right things, and put the right smile on your face. But what I really want to know is can you fall and get back up? Zig Ziglar says the only difference between a big shot and a little shot is that a big shot is a little shot that kept on shooting. I love that quote because it's proven to me over and over and over again in the past eight years. Winners stay excited. Anyone can be excited when things are going well, but winners, they stay excited as long as it takes. When a person hits a funk and they come out of that funk, then and only then do I, Mike Patello, and and you know if we have a winner or not. Do I have a winner or do I have a loser? Do I have a rich networker or do I have an amateur? Do I have someone that has the determination and the strong, strong, compelling reasons to make their life better? Are they going to work through this and persist until they succeed? Let me tell you this, being very, very candid with you, starters mean nothing to me. We're looking for finishers within this industry. You know, a rule that I learned the hard way in the industry is that personally I don't get emotionally involved with anyone until they've fallen down and they get back up. Too many times you get emotionally involved and you create an attachment with people. You start developing a friendship instead of leadership with people. We start delegating too soon. We start creating personal friendships with these people too soon in the business. Many times people will fall and they'll quit and they're going to let you down. So. I tell people, don't get emotionally involved. We teach our people, you don't get emotionally involved with people until you see that these people can fall and get back up. Remember, starters mean nothing. We're all looking for finishers in our network marketing business. 
I've seen people over the years, they've had tremendous starts in their business. Some have made thousands of dollars their first few months just retailing a sizzling hot product. But for whatever reason, the cares of the world, they weigh on their shoulders and they're out of business within two years. I want for you to understand that this CD, it's going to be very straight to the point. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm not going to pull any punches with you. I also want for you to know that this C is not to put you down in any shape or form. I know mentally how you've ended up in this funk. I can help you jump the funk. But to do so, I have to be straightforward with you. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I want for you to understand that there are people in your upline that care about you. That's why you're listening to the CD right now. There are people in your sideline that care about you. That is why they want for you to get this information, internalize it, and make it part of your network marketing business. They believe in the potential that you have within you. They're also smart enough to understand that you are the only one that is smart enough to tap that potential. We're all here for you right now, trying to help you jump your funk. That's why they took the time, energy, and effort to pass this CD on to you. I hope, my my true hope, is that I will be able to communicate on this CD the importance of where you're at right now. So many times we get emotionally involved in this business with the heartaches, the frustrations, and the disappointments. And we give up on the greatest opportunity in the history of the world, being network marketers. We may burn out. We give up on our dreams. I don't want that to happen to you. I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, when you give up on network marketing, you aren't really giving up on the industry. You're not giving up on the industry. The industry itself is proven. What you're giving up on when you give up, you're giving up on yourself. You're giving up on yourself, your dreams, your goals, your desires. I don't want that for you. So many people have that attitude of, if first I don't succeed, fix the blame quick. They want to blame the company. They want to blame the products. They want to blame their upline, downline, sideline. They want to blame whoever for where they're at in this business right now. Success can never start until responsibility is taken. Let me repeat that. Success can never start until responsibility is taken. The problem is not your upline. The problem is not your downline. The problem is not your mama or your daddy or the company. The problem is not the products. The problem is you've not yet developed the skills. And more importantly, you've not developed the attitude that you need to create a long-term six-figure income within network marketing. I can help you get out of the state of mind that you're in. But you have to make the decision. Do you want to continue to whine and throw yourself a pity party to complain and blame? Or would you rather take responsibility for yourself? If you are willing to take that responsibility for yourself, I'm going to share with you how you got to this funk in your business. And I'm also going to share with you how to get out of it. You know, I found over the years that quitters quit. That's what they're supposed to do. Jim Rohn says, when you run across people like that, just say, isn't that interesting, and go on. Again, we're really excited right now. We get to find out if we have a quitter or someone that's going to persist. I'm excited for you because you're about ready to look inside yourself and say, doggone it, I'm going to have success in network marketing. Activity creates the courage you need in your business. Guess what? The opposite of that, inactivity, that's going to create fear for you. I've got some really good news for you right now. The funk that you're presently going through, you will never, ever, in the life of your business, ever have another one that's as bad as the first one. The first one's the worst. Trust me on that.